Hello Pisces and welcome now to Wednesday. Sunny, valuable and clear for the fishes today. <laughs> the moon is in Aries, so the moon is putting emotional focus on soul capital. That means your self-esteem, your spiritual energy, your ability to manifest abundance. Now the moon is moving through chapter two today, so it's really time to get your heart behind what you want your value to be. You might find yourself sensitive to your values as well. This could be values in a big broad stroke in the sense of you know, you value this TV show or you value this religion, or it could be something very simple, like someone's disrespecting your property. So be conscientious of that. And this is, frankly, the most fertile time to manifest or light cast reality, other than, of course, light cast day. So put your emotions and your heart behind what you want to manifest. And remember, you will manifest the quickest something that you love. Zip into the sun. I think you are feeling king or queen today. The sun is ruled by Neptune, your home planet. And Neptune is this energy, energy, right? Logging us in for us to have some clarity on what's going on from the big picture of things. God, universe, down. So today's a great day to meditate, a great day to log in. Frankly, it's kind of how you live your life anyways. Pisces are always half in and half out of the water. That's what the two fish are. That means you're half up with God consciousness, half down on earth. But today you're particularly potent and clear. So as you are working this month on belief structure, and that may come down to education choices, trip choices, or what you really want to believe in or not believe in, or even sorting through false beliefs in your own consciousness, today's a great day to get to that final bottom of why is it? Why is it that I don't believe in myself when it comes to relationships? Why? Why can't I believe in myself? Well, your subconscious will get you there. Today it's easier to log in than usual. Ask your guides for guidance. That's why they're following you around this entire lifetime. And Saturn, been talking about it all week. Saturn is showing breakdown for the Pisces when it comes to your boundaries, okay? So one boundary you once thought would stay intact may collapse. This might be a close relationship to someone. This might be a boundary between what you said you would do and not do. This could be a boundary of what you allow yourself to do uh, with yourself. You know, I don't usually let myself uh, eat cake at nine, but I'm gonna let that boundary down. And if boundaries are inflamed, or if there's an area in your life where you've been ignoring, well, it could be a major breakdown. It could be a betrayal, it could be a lie coming up, it could be that you trip over the fact that you need boundaries. So be aware of that, that's in effect for another week or so. But Venus retrograde in Libra does remind us to love ourselves. So all of your boundaries are there because you love yourself. That's why they're there, and that's why Venus is retrograde right now, in my opinion. And it's Wednesday, we get a new episode of Skip Jennings, our urban mystic. He is our master of positivity and motivation here at Soul Garden, helping us all through the Scorpio vibration this month. Don't miss Skip. He is live and streaming everywhere our garden blossoms. All right, that's all I have for Wednesday. Tomorrow, Pisces, it's decision time. So do your meditation and live, love, be. So